Hi, Wagger Jets. I'm Craig Freestone, the, the principal of Wagger Middle School. Hi, I'm Lindsay Weber, the new assistant principal here at the middle school. We want to let you know that we miss you all and we're excited for your safe return back to Wagger. This year's motto is mask up at the middle school. Go, Go Jets! Jets! To ensure a safe arrival and departure from school, students must wear a mask on the bus and in the school building throughout the day. Bus windows will be open at all times, weather permitting, as well as the emergency exit hatches at the top of the bus. Students will hand sanitize as they get onto the bus as well as exiting the bus. Students will hand sanitize their hands using automatic hand sanitizer pumps as they enter the building. The process will be the same for students who are dropped off in the morning. Students will hand sanitize as they enter the building and head directly to their first hour class. Over the last few months, we have been working on plans to ensure a safe return to school for our students and staff. This has been a work in progress in following the Governor's Safe Return to School Roadmap. Most importantly, upon students' arrival to school, they will go directly to their first hour with their belongings. Lockers will be made available at scheduled intervals throughout the day. We want to avoid too many students being present in the hallways at one time. In the hallways, there is tape on the floor to show two-way traffic. We want to ensure that our students walk in a manner that keeps them socially distanced. In an effort to safely manage traffic flow, the hallways are divided by yellow tape. Students follow the directional flow while practicing social distancing. I'd like to take a minute to discuss some changes to our building for this school year. Those of you familiar with Wagger will notice that our formerly our fifth and sixth grade hallway has now become our seventh and eighth grade hallway. And what we've done is we've taken our seventh grade classrooms and our eighth grade classrooms and split them between these two hallways. What this will allow for is us to practice greater social distancing and separation during our common times or our passing times uh, in the hallway and space people out more effectively. You'll also notice that our, near our main office entrance, this hallway has become the sixth grade hallway. Upstairs now has become the fifth grade hallway. So we've made some changes in order to effectively social distance. We've also made some changes to our passing times. Our fifth and seventh grades have been partnered together for the past year. Our sixth and eighth grades have also been partnered together for the past year. Those partner groups will stay the same, but we have adjusted some times for those, for those groups. Sixth and eighth grade will start their day with 43 minute class periods. They'll finish their day with 41 minute class periods. Fifth and seventh grade will start their day with 41 minute class periods, and they'll finish their day with 43 minute class periods. What this allows for is some offset passing times for, for our classes, and particularly for our grade levels that share similar spaces. So our seventh grade students will be passing at a different time than our eighth grade students. This will allow us to maximize our social distancing. It'll allow us to have our, our hallways, which are divided with yellow tape. We'll have directional traffic going on in those hallways, and it, it really provides the safest environment we can at Wagger Middle School. We will have share this, uh, this slide with you on the next, next scene, so you are able to pause it and look a little bit more deeply at this if you choose. Finally, I'd like to say, mask up at Wagger Middle School. In addition, there will be hand sanitizing stations placed throughout the building in common areas and classrooms. 
Students are required to utilize these stations throughout the day. There is a different arrival process this year in order to social distance. Students will be entering through designated grade level doors, which will be labeled invisible and will head directly to their first hour class. Bus students will be entering in the back entryways. Parent drop-off students will enter in the front of the building. Bus and drop-off students have designated doors to enter and exit the building. All students are required to hand sanitize their hands as they enter the building. Students will have designated bathroom breaks in order to social distance. It is imperative that students wash their hands upon leaving the bathroom for 20 seconds minimum with hot soap and water. We all want students to be safe and have clean hands upon their return to class. Here are some tips for parents and families as we prepare for the return of school. Start having your student wear a mask at home. We ask that you start with a small amount of time and then just gradually work up to longer periods that students will experience in the school day. We also ask that you start a daily health screening routine. We think this will help with the transition of the students needing to have these screens done before they enter the buildings, and it will be helpful if those routines are established prior to the beginning of the school year. We also encourage you to uh, practice proper hand washing techniques and frequent hand sanitation throughout the day uh, because those will be expectations at Wagger. Wagger families, throughout this video, you've seen the steps we're taking to ensure the safety of your students. Um, safety of our staff and students is our number one priority here at Wagger and throughout airport community schools. Uh, whether you've chosen the face-to-face -face option or the virtual option, we wanna let you know that your student will be supported. These are very uncertain times and they're very unpredictable and they're rapidly changing. And we truly appreciate your patience and understanding throughout these times. And we look forward to continue working together with you to best support our kids. Finally, I wanna say, mask up at the middle school. Stay safe, everyone.